Coach Kyle here from Northern Lakes Basketball Academy in Sudbury, Ontario. Uh, I want to thank everyone for the support, the likes and comments in the last couple months of launch. Um, so I just want to give all of you a, a really big tip leading into the off season or grind season, if you will. Uh, and what we want to be doing here is we want to be doing purposeful practice. So we don't want to just go through the motions. There's all kinds of trainers out there. We're, we're giving you great videos, all of that. Um, but if we just go through the motions, you're only really doing outside in training. Uh, what we want to accomplish here at the Academy and hopefully you guys as well is inside out training. So that's where we're being very purposeful with our, um, our movements. Training is where you get a lot of reps done, but you're almost going through the motions. So a uh, coach might say, make 20 jumpers, or you might set a goal. I want to get a 500 jumpers today. Uh, fantastic. And that's, that's definitely important in, uh, your, in your training. But we want to add a deeper layer. We want to add inside out training here at the Academy. So what we're going to do with the inside out training is we're going to add purposeful movements. So I'm going to visualize what that skill should look like, what that form should be, the absolute perfect form that that skill can be. Uh, and then I pair that with how that would feel. So to reproduce that perfect, absolute perfect form that that skill can be. Uh, and then I pair that with how that would feel. So to reproduce that perfect movement, that perfect form or rhythm on your jump shot, I now can feel what that would feel like. So we've all had that shot where as soon as it's out of your hands, you know that it's money, it's cash. But well, we wanna reproduce that now. So we have that frame of reference and we know what the skill should look like, what it should feel like. So now we can uh, go and be self-analytical. We can analyze, was that a good rep? Was that a bad rep? And we want perfect reps. Perfect practice makes perfect. And we know no one can be perfect, but on the way, the pursuit of perfection, you will find greatness. So with being self-analytical, we also have to be very aware uh, of being self-critical. So it is a fine line. And as elite athletes, we do. We want to be uh, self-analytical. We want to analyze how did that reps, uh, what would it look like? What did it feel like? And, and then we can make corrections from there because uh, we've got that solid point of reference. But at the same time, we can't get hung up if it didn't feel right or if it didn't look right. We can't be critical. One rep and one missed shot or successful shot never dictates the success or failure of that next rep. So we've got to move on. So we're analyzing it for that second and then we move on, we forget it. We either, yes, uh, reaffirm it because there's a positive feel, a positive uh, outcome, so it's a swish, uh, a, a nice burn move. So then uh, we can reaffirm that with the yes, if it was a, a not a good move, it felt uh, maybe slow or maybe a little uh, uncontrolled, then we can uh, clap and clear that movement. And we're just moving of being self-analytical, which is a positive trait for elite athletes. You're reflecting back on the outcomes of uh, your training, maybe competition. So you want to hang on to reaffirm what was successful, what felt good. If it feels right, it is right. Uh, but you also want to be able to move past anything that didn't feel right or ha did not have a positive outcome for you. Um, and if we hang up on those issues, we get into the opposite of self-analyzing and it's now being self-critical. So self-analytical versus self-critical, we have to know the difference. It does take practice, uh, but learning this now, early ages, high school age and younger, you're going to be such a better athlete, both on and off the court, positive success in life with these. So learn from your mistakes, but don't get hung up on them. Move past, be positive, and yes, I At the Academy, we really stress muscle memory and cybernetics, but we don't wanna be ingraining uh, bad habits or inefficient or improper movements that might lead to uh, possible injury or just frustration for that athlete. So we use uh, the self-analytical process of how does this uh, rep feel, how should it look, and then we've got that frame of reference where we can always relate back to that perfect motion. Was it that or was it not that? And the athletes can really distinguish there. That's something I want to continue. I want to ingrain that. Maybe I can leave that that uh, rep behind. So we want to ingrain it with yes. We want to forget uh, bad movements, bad outcomes with a clear. And yes, I can. We just move on to that next rep because no rep dictates the next.